What's up all my Power Addicts crew? Today on Whatever Wednesday, I'm going to show you a very handy trick for cutting bolts off or like all thread uh, for instance, how to make a nice clean straight cut with very little effort. So what tools do you need you ask? And that is a very good question. We got a regular hacksaw and for most everyone has a regular drill. Okay. Now it can be a big drill, small drill, whatever, but the size of your drill, mostly the size of the end right there, the chuck, where the drill bit goes in, will determine how big or how small the bolts are you can cut. Because we're putting the bolt up inside the drill, spin the bolt, cut it with a hacksaw. Now if you've got a, um, a drill press, that'll make life a lot easier. Uh, I've got a drill press and I've also got a mill, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it with a regular uh, drill like this. So, most everyone has one of those, okay? Before we get this started, is this the first time you've landed on my channel? If it is, be sure to subscribe because I do Jeep videos, car videos, motorcycle videos, truck videos, tool hacking videos. Uh, you really never know, but I always try to make it some form of educational for you, okay? So, be here, sure to hit that subscribe so you will be notified when I release these cool videos. Now, let's go cut a bolt. So let's pretend like this grade 8 bolt right here is too long for the application we need. We need to cut a little bit of it off. Take a drill. There we go. Now typically you know, you'd have it locked in your bias or whatever you'd be... <coughs> All that manual labor, that's no fun. I'm going to lock on my trigger. And I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure. I'm going to show you guys real quick. See the groove that's already cutting into it? Now bear in mind the drill head, the chuck, is rotating this way. Okay? The blade teeth, remember if you put a, uh, a hacksaw blade in correctly, it cuts on your pushing stroke. So, the drill rotation is like this top of the chuck's going this way I'm pushing against it this way even the rotation of the bolt is pushing against the teeth of the hacksaw so if you try to go the other way you know if you want to have the drill flip the other way and you're going rotation is going against going uh, with the with the direction of the teeth you're not going to cut you got to make sure your rotation is going against the teeth as if you were pushing to cut so, rotation is this way, I lay the blade down on it, it's cutting against the teeth, and I push against it like that, it makes a nice clean cut.
check this out. You can tell or not. I tell you what, I just take the outlet drill. Look you real close. See how thin that is? Grab it. Break it off. Take your nut. Easy as it can be. Threads aren't boogered up. It makes a nice clean cut. So there's your bolt tip. Okay, I want to put this up here so you guys get a good close up of how well it cut off, how straight and perpendicular the cut is. Now you can always take your file and come this way and bevel around the edge of it, clean up a sharper edge a little bit if you want to. It's totally up to you. But as you can see, no issues whatsoever. And back it completely out so you can see. Ta da! There you go. And there's your easy uh, shop bolt trick. Did you enjoy that video? Did you learn a little something new? If you did, hit that thumbs up for me, please. Have you subscribed? You have? Cool, man. Knuckle bump. Appreciate it. Now, if you haven't, you really should. Because I release these Jeep videos, car videos, motorcycle videos, and all kinds of cool videos that I try to make educational one shape, form, or fashion. So you really should subscribe. I mean, I would really appreciate it. I really would. And you will benefit from it, I promise. Comments and questions? Absolutely. Right down below. Have at it. Now, if you got a question, ask away. If you got comments, go for it. Here's what I like to have for comments. You guys give me some uh, shop tricks. Like I just showed you guys how to shorten a bolt. Tell me something that you guys do that is really cool in the shop that helps you out quite a bit. Tell me about it, and I can put that in a video format for you and give you guys a shout out in the process. Or, for uh, like I, some of the past videos, if you want me to dissect something, like I've dissected a radiator already, dissected a fuel filter, hey, see what's inside stuff. So, give me some comments, give me some suggestions. Cool shop tips, or what's inside what. Right down there, fill it in. Now, y'all hold up just one second. I was told something the other day that I think is absolutely awesome, okay? Now, I've had several comments about the way I run my channel. You know, that, you know, it's clean, no cussing, no kind of foul stuff, because I do want to run a family-friendly channel. Yes, it's about Jeeps. Yes, it's about motorcycles and all this other good fun stuff. But at the same time, no matter what any YouTuber is teaching you, there is no reason for be dropping all types of language and stuff. So I keep my channel as family-friendly, child-friendly as possible, because you never know when a um, parent's child is going to be the one running across some YouTube videos of mine and I don't want to be the one out there that's dropping all these kind of language issues. And all of a sudden, you know, it's just, I don't want to keep picking up a bad habit because of me. And I want everybody to be happy with what I do. So with that being said, I was texting with a guy by the name of Rick the other day. And I found out that his 10-year-old son found me on YouTube. Ryan, that's right. You show your dad what a good channel is all about, buddy. Uh, I think your dad said you go by Rumbles. And I bet you it's because of you and your dad going out wheeling in that Jeep, isn't it? I bet it is. So, hey, Ryan Bay, I appreciate you showing your dad a good YouTube channel. Keep it up, bud. Keep it out wheeling. Have a good time with your dad. Later, brother. And for the rest of you Power Axe crew out there, I want all of y'all out there to have a great day. Peace out. Later, y'all. Ryan, see you, buddy. Knuckle bump. Knuckle bump. Boop.